Hello everyone, welcome to valuespectrum.com. In this video I'm going to make an overview of Applied Materials company. In this menu you can see the prices button, which gives you the information about the prices of all European and American stocks. Applied Materials company is traded at the US Stock Exchange and index is US Tech Index. All these companies are listed alphabetically, but you can sort them by the highest or the lowest value of maximum price or minimum price of the past 12 months, or by the difference between the current price and the previous price. Now let's take a look at the applied materials company. If we click on it, we will see the details of the company and a short overview. In the bottom you can see the historical prices for different periods. One week, one month, one year, three years, five years. If we press all button, we will see the price development for the company from 2005 to 2017. Over the period from December 2015 till January 2017, the stock gained around 83%. If we compare the price in 2012 and in 2017, we will see that over the past five years the stock rose a massive 230 percent here we can see no sell recommendation for the company one hold recommendation and three buy recommendations it gives average target stock price 28 us dollars it's 16 percent lower than the current stock price most analysts think that the company is overrated now. We can click annual reports button. Here we can see all of the available annual reports of the company. They can be downloaded here for free. We can go to the results and we'll see revenue costs, profit, margin and profit, return on investments for every year from 2008 to 2015. Applied materials revenues between 2012 and 2015 were quite similar and moved between $8.7 billion and $9.6 billion. We see that profit of the company in 2014 and in 2015 was quite stable and equaled 1 billion and 1.3 billion respectively. If we go to the balance report, we will see all the most important information such as equity debt, total assets, etc for every year from 2008 to 2015. At the end of 2015, company had a balance sheet of $15.3 billion, $7.6 billion, it's around 50% of the total balance sheet was financed by debt. You can see that in 2014, 14,000 people were employed at the company. If we look at the details page, we will see all of the information you need about price earnings per share, price earnings per share ratio, etc. At the end of 2015, the company's market capitalization, it's the number of shares 
times the market price equaled around 28.9 billion dollars. At the end of 2015, the company had around 1.1 billion stocks listed. In our next video, we will take a look at some other US companies. Thanks for watching.